Well, hello there. Hi, I have my eyes done, but my face is bare, and I feel like when you do a bold eye and you don't have foundation on, <laughs> things look weird. But anyways, hey everyone, it's Lainey, and welcome to my channel. Look at my, my straws, my straws in the picture. Of course, iced coffee. It is 25 degrees here today, but I was craving iced coffee, so that's what I did. I am super duper excited for today's video because it is going to be my first impressions. I haven't done a real true first impressions in a while and I was at Target the other day doing some loops, not buying things really, kind of more window shopping and this was before I started my no buy, let me throw that out there. This was before I wrote down my New Year's resolutions. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put it down below. I purchased this before then, I just want to make it clear. I haven't broken my no buy yet, so yay for that. <laughs> but I picked up this e.l.f. hydrating concealer because I am obsessed with the original e.l.f. camo concealer. Like, obsessed. It's in my top favorites. It's in like, honestly, best concealers category of all time and it's so cheap. It's either five or six dollars. This one is six dollars. This is the hydrating version. I don't have problems with the e.l.f. camo because I lean more oily so it works for me but I know there are so many of you who have dry skin that want to love the e.l.f. camo concealer but it doesn't work for you because it's just too matte. So that's why I want to do a first impressions of this to let you guys know if I think it is worth it or not. So if you want to see me apply this little bad boy right here, then just keep watching. Before we dive on into the first impressions, let me know down below, do you like the original e.l.f. camo concealer or was it too dry for you? I love hearing from you guys. And now let's talk about this concealer. So this is a $6 concealer. It's honestly a pretty big tube. You're getting a good amount of product in there. They have a very large, very large shade range, which is amazing. It's affordable and it has a good shade range. If this formula is bomb, then this is going to be like all time best concealer of all time. From the e.l.f. website, it says our camo concealer just got better. Our new lightweight full coverage formula doesn't flake and gives your skin a boost of hydration for a satin finish. Camouflage those pesky spots and under eye circles with this high coverage, hydrating and long wear concealer. So it all sounds amazing. Let's see if it is amazing. And I'm going to blend mine out with a dry beauty blender because I'm too lazy to go wet this thing down. Just being real with you guys, just, just being real. I am in the shade Fair Warm. I did have issues picking this out even visually at Target. They did not have the full shade range there that I saw. It was on an end cap. But I felt like a lot of the tones leaned a little bit pink and I really don't like how pink toned products look on my skin. I prefer either neutral or yellow. I hope it has the same doe foot. Oh, it does. A nice jumbo big doe foot. And I definitely, okay, you guys, like I've got some darkness under here that needs to go. Oh, this color so far looks pretty good. I think I could have gone a little bit darker. You might be like, but you don't have your foundation on yet. I'm going to go in with a powder foundation, so I'm going to apply this first. It's pretty light. The yellow tone, the warmth helps it not look so starkly paper white. I think this will work. I think this color will work. If you're similar to me, I think we can make this color work. See how it's covering such a large area because it's so pigmented. I think this color's pretty good actually. And I'm just gonna bring it down a little bit because I'm pretty red down here today. And I'm always discolored on the top of my nose. Okay, so here is a side-by-side -side so you guys can see the difference. There's definitely a big difference. I'm fully covered under the eyes. When I turn, the light still will kind of go into that sunken part of my face. But overall, very impressed. Should I do a side-by-side -side with the original? I think I'm going to have to because honestly, this doesn't look that different to me. Maybe I'm misremembering. Okay, so this will be the original side. This one is definitely a little bit darker, but I feel like they're pretty freaking similar. Okay. I'm gonna go on the back side of my beauty blender. I 
I do want to give it a little time to dry down because that could be the real difference in formula is the dry down. But like they look really, really similar. I need just like a little bit more. This one does not seem to spread as easily, so that does make me believe the other one is a bit more satin. Definitely not spreading out as far as the new formula. Okay, now that I've applied them, I feel like I do have a better understanding of the new formula. I'm really glad I decided to compare the two because memory sometimes can be fuzzy and my memory was a little bit fuzzy about this one because they both have the same coverage. Like the coverage is there and it's great on both products. So it kind of made me think that they were like the exact same formula or very, very similar. And they are very similar, but this one definitely is a little more creamy, a little bit more hydrating. And the fact that it spread out much easier, like this one, without a damp sponge, it was not like budging past just the under eye. Where this one, you saw it. Like it, I could probably do half of my face with what I put on because it just, bl it just blended out, was so creamy. And visually, this side does look more matte. It's not a huge difference, but this side definitely looks a little bit softer, a little just creamier under the eyes, which actually, even with my oily skin, I kind of like this side because this winter I've been dealing with a kind of dry under eyes where sometimes my products will look just a little heavy, a little cakey, a little dry. So I think this formula is going to be really, really good. Even if you lean oily, um, it's not... I, I was kind of worried to be like so, so, so satiny, but it's really just like a nice balance between the two formulas. So far, really impressed. Really, okay, I'm, I'm just loving it. I'm loving it so much. I'm gonna go in with my powder now, and then we will see how it all looks. I think I'll speed through this part. Did I do everything? Okay, makeup is all done and let's talk about how it looks. Let's bring you in a little bit closer. Okay, here is up close and personal. What do we think? Let me know down below. Everything applied over top really beautifully and this is kind of interesting. I actually feel like this part of my face, my pores look smaller. I use the same primer, foundation, powder, everything on the face. So that's kind of interesting. This side just looks a little smoother than this side. Hmm. As far as under eyes go, you guys. Okay, here's the thing. This side doesn't look terrible. Like before this one, I would have been totally happy with this under eye, but honestly, this under eye does have just enough moisture to it. It makes my under eyes look really hydrated, but not overly hydrated. It's like the perfect set and soft effect, even with a powder over top. Without powder, this one probably wouldn't look as dry but I have to powder my under eyes otherwise I get so creasy this side with powder looks really healthy and just plump and moisturized overall I'm giving this two big major thumbs up and definitely the Laney stamp of approval because you guys you cannot go wrong the coverage the color range the formula the price OMG New favorite, definitely new favorite. Elf, you are killing it. You are shaking up the concealer industry because 
How did you do this and keep it so affordable? I mean, seriously, it's amazing. I love it. If you guys have tried it, let me know down below. I seriously love hearing from you guys. And that is all for today's video. Let's do the shout out of the day. Choices Affordable Glam Life 360 commented on my last reverse ru reverse rouge of 2019 and said, I love when I use up products. It's so gratifying. Oh my gosh, yes it is. You are so right and I am on a mission to finish up a ton of products this year. Like a mission. I am dead set. I am centered. I am focused. So yes, I so agree with you. Nothing feels better than using up products and knowing you didn't just waste your money because sometimes in the beauty community here, it's so easy to just waste products because we want to buy products to talk about on YouTube. So yeah, I couldn't agree more. Thank you so much for being here. I am so, so glad you're a part of the Lash Fam and thank you for the comment. I seriously love when you guys interact. If you guys haven't clicked the subscribe button, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Join the Lash Fam. We would love to have you. So yes, that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this first impression. And as always, please try to stay positive because at the end of the day, that is truly all we can try to do. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.